First here at 5 o'clock, more pay for police officers and more transparency for the public. That's the deal the Austin Police Association approved. Now it's up to the city council. Officers will get a 9.5% pay raise over five years. But new this round, people will be able to file online complaints against police officers and be able to keep their complaints anonymous. The Austin Police Monitor will get to sit in on all internal affairs interviews, can, questions, can ask questions and file complaints against police officers. And third, right now, if officers are punished, it has to be within 100 days, 180 days of an incident. That 180-day period will now start when supervisors find out about the incident. It's important to remember, though, this was a negotiation. And as with all negotiations, neither side gets everything that they want. Uh, and, and that is the case here. Social justice advocates agree they did not get everything they wanted from the negotiations. Many want the Austin City Council to reject the contract when they vote on it next month. KXAN's Phil Prazen looks into one of their issues and APD's response. That's why I always... This is Officer Bino Cadena's fifth year patrolling East Austin for APD. He says the contract's benefits give him peace of mind and hopes it inspires trust towards officers. That factor of trust is beyond everything. Uh, it helps cr uh, solve crime and it also helps report crime. However, a major hang-up still for advocates is how the contract allows an officer 48 hours to review evidence, including body camera footage, before making a formal statement about an incident. This one class of like citizens, just because their police get these kind of added privileges, um, and you know that's something that we've been trying to highlight. Chaz Moore with the Austin Justice Coalition wants officers to be treated just like civilians. It's a lot of money for for very little change. I took those concerns to APD. Police Association President Ken Cassidy says he thinks most people are misinformed. Officers are allowed to review evidence beforehand because they are required to make a statement. A civilian isn't. You have an option of either going in and giving a statement or not. A police officer does not have that right. You are forced to go in and give a statement against your best interest. We'll find out if that's enough to sway City Council come December. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. The 48-hour evidence review period for officers is one of the reasons the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights gave APD poor marks for how they use their body cameras last week. The Austin Justice Coalition says they wanted several more items during the negotiations, but the association would not agree. First, they wanted the Citizens Review Panel, which is appointed by City Council, to have investigative powers. They also wanted to repeal a department rule, allowing any officer who faces a suspension of three days or less to reduce that to a written reprimand on their record. Coming up on KXAN News at 6 tonight, we explore what happens if Austin police do not get a new contract. The